With a swift stroke of her brush, Ariana Hangrani is whisked away. Most of the paintings are landscapes of Iran because I have a feeling there. Born and raised in Tehran, Ahan Gurani discovered her flair for watercolors 10 years ago. I really like painting since I was a kid, but I didn't have a chance to take the course or getting some classes. And you know, the revolution happened and everything changed and we were in war, so I didn't have the right timing. Somewhere between raising a daughter, completing a business master's in Germany and moving to Canada for an oil and gas job, Ahan Gurani unearthed the passion for painting. Everything that bothers me during the day or any problem that I have, it's just going away and it's just like there is a place for me to be secure. This artist escapes doing landscapes of her homeland, a country where security is an uncertainty. It's heartbreaking. It's not something that you wish to have in your country. Ahan Garani's Iran is nothing like the images Canadians see on TV like the recent protests over disputed election results declaring Mahmoud Ahmadinejad president. I really like to bring it up here and to show that what's the real face of Iran. It's not about our war in the streets or protests or the political problems that we have. No, it's not all about that. We have beautiful country. Ahan Garani paints from memory and draws inspiration from books on Iran. However, her most recent body of work showcases her current surroundings. The beautiful sky, these mountains and everything. So they are all inspiring me to paint here. Yeah, the last stages, I don't want to finish it. I don't want to finish the enjoy of um, painting. Soon others will enjoy both familiar and faraway scenes as this Iranian-Canadian prepares for a November exhibition, her first in Canada. I think I'm in the right place because I don't feel homesick. And for Ahan Garani, home is always a brushstroke away. For your city, I'm Kirsten Allen Fleming.